Good morning, everyone. It is Papa Smurf here. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about the incident where the truck driver was sentenced to 110 years for uh, killing four people in that crash down the mountain in Colorado. Um, it's obviously a big uh, topic on Facebook, especially among truck drivers, and uh, it's a big debate as to whether he deserves that long of a sentence or not. Uh, obviously in Colorado, uh, sentences go, what is it? They go back to back. You can't combine them. So when you get a three year sentence and a three year sentence, it must be six years. They can't be served. I guess that's called consecutively. I guess it'd be concurrent then. Um, at any rate, so he got 110 years and, uh, obviously a lot of people are upset about that because they're afraid it's setting a bad precedent, uh, because as truck drivers, we could be held to that same standard because it's now would be considered case law they already done it now maybe they could do it to me first off in my opinion he deserves every minute of that 110 years now having said that i do hope that after 20 or 30 years he is able to be out as many do on good behavior etc um that is the part that is grace and forgiveness but he still deserves every minute of the 110 years um he made so many reckless and dangerous decisions uh, before and while traveling down that hill. Not checking his brakes properly, um, not knowing how to use or not having an engine brake but going down that kind of a mountain, not being able to put the truck in gear. It should have been already in gear before he went down at the top. Um, not taking sev one of several of the runway ramps that even cars know are there everybody knows can see that the signs are right there you go up the hill that's full of gravel that way you could stop the truck at any speed he chose not to do that he even said at one point that he believes that he he was he might have gotten a ticket for taking the ramp so he chose not to well that's a conscious decision not to do what you know to be safe and then when something happens he, that's your fault but in any case I think one of the big things that is that is becoming apparent to me out of this is the number of people, drivers especially, who believe that the school or his company should be held liable because they didn't train him good enough. In my opinion, it is not the school's or the company's job to train you as a driver. Me personally, I have not driven on ice or snow yet. That does not mean that I can go blame my school for not having taught me how to drive on ice. Because they can't train you for every scenario. It's impractical. Sometimes it's the wrong time of the year. There's not going to be a case for every scenario. It is up to you as the driver. I think I touched on this in a previous video. Where you getting your CDL is not, you can go drive anywhere safely. It's you now know the bare minimums in great weather to safely drive that vehicle. It is now up to you as a driver who is held fully responsible for everything on that rig, usually including the cargo, unless it's a sealed load. So even though you didn't put the cargo in there, how it got stacked is your responsibility. You're supposed to check that to make sure that it's not going to fall over, that it's not going to cause the thing to tip. Make sure that it's evenly distributed. Well, that's your job as the driver, even though you never loaded it, and you're not going to unload it. It's still your job because it is your truck that you are driving. And so you now, as a CDL holder, have the license to start learning how to do these things. And if you take a route from a company that's down a major mountain, and you've never done mountains, you are accepting the full responsibility for that. If you feel it's safe, you go ahead. If you don't, it is up to you to say, this is not a safe route for me. Either I'm going to have to go a different way, where there's not mountains. I'm going to have to, whatever it is, I'm going to have to stop and not go. I'm going to have to get the truck repaired because I'm not sure these brakes are going to hold. I don't know what kind of brakes it's going to take to hold them down the mountain. If you don't know those, the answer to those questions, then don't go. That's what the CDL is is a license to make the right choices but it is still up to us to make those right choices and i i unfortunately i'm seeing so many posts on facebook and everything else where he shouldn't be in jail his school and his 
uh, company should be in jail or the company should be in jail along with him for 110 years or, you know, he should have five or six years. I completely disagree. It is not the job of the company or the school to make sure that you are prepared for every scenario. The job of the school is to get you to pass the CDL. Most of them tell you that. If they don't, you should know because how many hours did you get behind that wheel? Did you drive in rain? Did you drive uh, in all conditions? You know, most likely not. Even the good schools, there's only so many hours you can drive behind that vehicle when they're teaching a class. So we didn't drive down mountains in school. We didn't drive on ice and snow. Uh, I don't even think I drove in rain. I believe some of the students got to if it was a rainy day, but that's, you know, again, you don't drive in all conditions. Why? Because that's not what it's there for. It's to get you the CDL so that you can then go learn on your own, whether you drive five miles an hour because it's raining and you're not comfortable yet. So you start at five and then you go to 20 and then you go to 30 and finally you're, you know, 10 miles below the speed limit or whatever it is. If you don't feel safe, you don't move the truck. If you haven't done it before and you don't feel you can safely do it, don't move the truck. I believe that he deserves every minute of that sentence for all the bad choices that he made. And for those who then say that, well, drunk drivers get off with less. Or, you know, they'll bring up a particular instance in which, you know, this woman ran over three school kids or whatever else. Yes, two things. One, in like with the, the woman that ran over the school kid, I can't remember what state or anything, but <clears throat> she's not a commercial driver, so it is not her job to be safe. That doesn't mean that she shouldn't be safe, but it is not solely her job and she was not on the job, so that is more serious. And two, that was one she didn't pay attention to the stop sign on the side of the school bus that she was supposed to stop for. That's a single mistake. This guy did not press the gas instead of the pedal and it caused the wreck. He didn't do one thing that caused it. It was an entire multitude of an hour plus worth of bad decisions that caused this. In, uh, including not having been prepared for it ahead of time. That is our job. Again, pointing to the fact that she was the, the the woman that was driving a car and hit the three kids. She is it's not her job to know the safe route, all those things. Yes, she should drive safely, but regular driver's license is not our job. We're not paid for that. As a commercial driver's as a commercial driver, we are held to a much higher standard and we should be because it is our job, it is our livelihood, this is our career. And if we don't know, we don't need to be doing it. At any rate, I guess my rant's over for today. I actually got kicked off of a uh, Facebook forum last night, a new CDL driver group, because I said that I felt that he deserved the sentence. And so I initially got banned from the group. They kicked me out and said that uh, they're going to ban anybody that says that because that's not fair. And I had said that, you know, that's messed up that the biggest debate right now in the trucking community is this in particular, whether the guy should get 110 years or not, and you're going to kick somebody out of, I mean, the group's titled New CDL Drivers. This guy's been a driver, he says, for 15 years that's the moderator, and he's going to kick out a new driver who has a different opinion. So uh, that's fine because I guess... I don't need to be a part of a group that's not going to actually allow discussion because I thought that was kind of the point. But uh, at any rate, he said, ask any real trucker and they'll tell you that that's way excessive. But it's funny because on Facebook or anywhere else, the trucking community is split. New drivers, old drivers, doesn't matter. It's split between whether he is responsible and should deserve that sentence or not. At any rate, like I said, rant over. Um, obviously, I'm sitting in my truck. I'm putting a few things in it. I'm actually on home time. Um, I'll be starting back on the road on Monday. This is Friday, and Monday I'll be hitting the road again. Uh, later today, I'm going to the DPS to uh, try and take my endorsements. Hazmat, Tanker, and Doubles and Triples. So hopefully I'll pass those tests. 
and uh, then I'll be able to add those to my CDL. Again, those are not going to allow me to do those loads safely. They're going to give me the license so that I can learn to do those safely. It's still my responsibility to make sure that I run that tanker or that hazmat load effectively, safely, properly, according to the law. Like I said, rant over. Pop a smurf out. I'll see you another time.